Okay, today I'll show you how to connect to a MySQL database using PHP and NetBeans. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start up a new project inside of NetBeans. I'm going to call it Connect PHP uh, to MySQL. Okay. And I have that saved into my htdoc folder in uh, MAMP. I'm going to run this on my local server. I'm not going to use framework. Next. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an uh, includes folder. And here I will store my uh, PHP connection to the MySQL database. Includes new file, PHP file. I'm going to call this database con. These extra comments. Okay, I'm going to create all my variables I need in order to establish a connection. Uh, first thing I need is my host. I'm using uh, localhost. And there we go. Then I'm going to create a user. And for my user, I'm just going to use a root, just a generic user that comes with MySQL. Uh, then I'm going to use my password. I'm also going to use root, keeping it generic, just focusing on the connection. Uh, now I have to create my uh, database name. The database I'm using is YouTube. And because I'm using uh, PHP my admin, um, it has to use the port, so that's port 8888. And now I'm going to create the uh, string for my uh, connection. So I'm creating a new variable, database con. Okay, I'm establishing a new MySQL I connection, uh, my host users my password variable my database name the port and I don't need a socket so I'll remove that okay now if I do get an error I'm going to create a small if statement for that so if database connection is a connection error, then my error, error is equal to database connection error. All right. Now I'm going to write the uh, main page. I'm going to name it. My SQL test. And in my head, I'm going to uh, link my database connection file in my includes folder. So require once includes dbcon.php. Write my error handling code error ex get message okay I'm going to just add a header to my page I'll be using for my connection Looks like everything's working so far. Delete this comment. Now I'm going to create a if is set. So if I do have an error, I would like to print that onto my page. So echo error.
else. Connect it. So if I have an error, I'll have like a error string that would be posted in the next page. If not, it'll show us connected. I'm going to close my database connection. It's not required, but why not? And connect it. So it's currently working. Uh, so let me see what would happen if I use the wrong password or username. So I'll go back to my includes file and I'm just going to mess up my password on purpose and then I'm going to run the page again and I get an error uh, using password yes using wrong password. Fix that. Run it again and it's connected. I hope this helps you and on my next video I will show you how to uh, write a insert statement. Thank you.